Hi guys, welcome to Studio B, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the best graphic novels. You guys have been asking for this for a long time. What are the best graphic novels to read? I love graphic novels. I think they are amazing because they totally tell the story more than just words can. Sometimes you just don't want to read a long book. I, that's why I love graphic novels because they're so fun. You can just open them up, um, read them from wherever you were. You could even read them from like before. I love graphic novels. So I'm going to show you my favorites and some books that are like graphic novels. We've got The Obvious, Dork Diaries, which everybody knows about. It's a big popular book. We love them. They're so funny, fun, great books. And then we have the stack of Diary of a Wimpy Kid books. Oh, I need to be working out more. Okay. This is my stack of Dire Wimpy Kid books. I'm very proud of it. Some are hardback, some aren't. These are amazing books. I am the number one fan. I am on the Dire Wimpy Kid website all the time looking, when's the new book coming out? I forgot, when's the new book coming out? I have it circled on the calendar. I am a total Wimpy Kid fan. And I know that you will be. Everyone is a, tar is a Dire Wimpy Kid fan, unless you haven't read it. But maybe you've watched the movie. These books are so great, just the name makes you happy. Wimpy Kid. Oh, it's okay. So these were the books that originally got really popular and these have are one super funny and two have a lot of pictures in them. And that is basically what started funny books with really with lots of pictures in it to start getting popular. These books are amazing. If you're not reading these, you definitely should. These are like one of the best books ever. You need to be reading these. Okay, so if you're reading Dork Diaries, which you probably are, because um, lots of people, lots of people read Dork Diaries. Um, if you're reading Dork Diaries, there is another series called the Max Crumley series. So this is basically the spin-off series of Dork Diaries. This is one of the characters in Dork Diaries. This is Brandon's friend. Um, so <laughs> I think this is kind of like um, Dire Wimpy Kid's cousin. I like those wimpy characters that Joe always are trying to do like amazing stuff. I think that he's incredibly funny, you know. Don't tell anyone this, but I kind of like it better than Dark Diary. Oh no, I think they heard. No, I didn't mean that. Now, Big Nate. This one isn't as big as these ones, but they definitely should be. They're, they're up there with them. Big Nate is amazing. I like him because he's super funny, thinks that he's better than everyone else, just like any other funny book. Just like in life, there's like mean teachers, crazy teachers, <laughs> and it's basically about him in middle school and all the crazy things that middle school takes you to. He is so funny and there's lots of pictures and stuff. I love the way they draw the pictures in this book. It makes them all seem so funny. Graphic novels are not like your regular book. Graphic novels are something that you can just open up. <laughs> you just start laughing automatically. It's not like a book that's like a funny book. You have to read, read, read. <laughs> read, read, read. It, you can just open it up and it's funny automatically. It's not something that you have to get into for like 30 minutes and you're like, oh yes, I'm totally into this book. So I love these books, that's why. I can just open up any graphic novel and just start laughing. I don't have to get into it. I just open it up and it's funny, it's amazing, it's great, okay? So now I have El Defo. El Defo isn't that popular yet, but it's very good. I love El Defo. Um, it's an odd title, but it, um, the story is told in bunnies, which I kind of like. <laughs> um, it's about a girl, and she's, uh, 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 she is hearing impaired. And that means that she's, like, half deaf, kind of. And she needs to have uh, things in her ears help her hear better. And that's not it, unfortunately. Um, it goes to a big device 
that sticks out out of your shirt and it's really embarrassing for her. It would be really embarrassing for me too. How would you like to have like a backpack in front of you all day but like your shirt over it? Like, hi guys. People bully her, stuff like that. This one isn't as funny, um, but it is pretty funny. It's not as funny, it's more like um, you feel for her, but it's also very funny because she pretends that she's a superhero named El Defo, and sometimes she accidentally does stuff that she pretends. So you should really give this book a chance. All right, The Babysitter's Club. In fact, I was reading this one just before the video. Um, this is The Babysitter's Club. It is a great series of books, there's like a 115 books and then there's like the spin-off babysitter's little sister that has like 200 books too it's a lot of books um kind of old but still very fun funny books i have been reading the original i am so far on number 19 baby so guess what the author of smile and sisters which are super popular graphic novels super popular everyone knows them they're like one of the most popular graphic novels and they're very good guess what she made them into graphic novels so more people can read them because lots of people don't want to read these because they're long and there's a lot of books i mean they're not that long but there's a lot of them and well i what I like to do is I like to read the book and then read the graphic novel. I love the way she put this into graphic novel form. Now, think about it. You have to take a book and turn it into graphic novel. And you have to like have it the same and you wanna have all the characters look the same. It's not very easy. The one that is actually my favorite I don't have right now it is number three, Marianne Saves the Day. Now, in in the Babysitter's Club series, Marianne Saves the Day was not my favorite book. I didn't really like it that much. But in the graphic novel, now it's my favorite. I love it. And I, it's kind of hard to understand some of these. They use older terms, older words, just older things like you wouldn't understand, uh, like the names and stuff. You might not know exactly what they are because it was written a long time ago. I love the way she put this into graphic novel form. So try Babysitter's Club in both ways. Next book, Sunny Side Up. So this book is not like super funny. It's about a girl. Since her brother is going to a new place because of bad things that he did, she has, she, instead of going to the boardwalk with her friends and staying at a beach place, she has to go to Florida to her grandpa. And then she tries to, she tries to have her sunny side up. She thinks of Walt Disney World, she thinks of beach, she thinks of everything. And when she gets there, her grandpa's like, I'm gonna, you ready to have some fun today? We're gonna do something awesome. She's like, what? And he's like, we are going to go to the grocery store. And that kind of sums up the rest of her summer. Her grandpa, her grandpa does nothing fun. And then she finds out that unlike her brother, she needs to keep her sunny side up and she needs to tell the truth. And she needs to tell her grandpa, hey, I'm trying to have fun and stuff, but I don't really like going to the grocery store every day and stuff like that. I like the spirit of this book. She tries to have her sunny side up. She's having her enthusiasm. She's trying to be happy. And eventually she tells her grandpa, and guess what? Her grandpa had no idea she, he was making this boring. And then he takes her to Walt Disney World. They go to the beach, they have so much fun. And basically, she just tries to keep her sunny side up. And, she, and it worked. Oh, and also, uh, there's a new book coming out called Swing It Sunny. It's about um, s the same main character, which I loved her, and she is going to middle school. And all most of the funny books take place in middle school. So I am excited for book number two. Try and get Sunny set up in Swing It Sunny. Roller Girl! This one is amazing, just amazing. This one hits home for me. This one, it sounds like if you just take out the roller derby part of it, it's like this book was written about me. Except for I wouldn't 
ever dye my hair blue. <laughs> I've tried to imagine myself with it. I don't look very good. <laughs> but some of the experiences she goes through, friend drama, it's, it's like she wrote this book about me. And I know a few friends that this book was written about them too. It's, maybe it's even written about you. This book kind of shows about what friends are supposed to be and what friends aren't. She has a friend who really isn't a true friend, but she has to find herself, not her best friend, not anyone around her. She needs to, she needs to find out who she really is. And that's what I love about this book. Oh, Invisible Emmy, everyone, everyone, everyone need to get this book. You need to get this book. I mean, everyone goes through this. Uh, yes, again, this one's taking place in middle school. It's very funny. It's about this girl who feels like she's not noticed at all. She feels like she's invisible because she doesn't really have much of a friend. She doesn't really have a friend. Well, she has one friend, but the rest of the time, she's just kind of shy and quiet because nobody really notices her. She's not popular, but again, she's not picked on. If you read a lot of books like me, you've read every book about kids who either they're like super nerdy or like really picked on or they're really popular and they have a bunch of friend drama. Well, there's like 2% of people that are actually like that. And nobody really like relates to it because only some people are like really bullied. Others like get bullied a little bit, but it's not like it's like their whole life. They just kind of feel like nothing. And it shows her like finding out how to be her true self and being brave and getting herself out there. Um, that's why it's called Invisible Emmy. And she kind of finds herself. This happens to everybody. Everybody feels alone and like nobody cares about them at school. Maybe you're popular. Maybe you have a bunch of friend drama. Maybe there's something wrong with you and a bunch of people pick on you. But most people are just stuck in the middle. Sure, they have a friend and sure they get picked on a little bit by, in this book, Joelle. Um, but usually it's not like that. And that's why you need this book. This book is written about all of us in one character. Just cross out Emmy and put your name in there. There's your book. Get it. I think I'm gonna do this one because almost everybody knows about Smile and Sisters. Great books, okay. Ghosts. I've done a review on this, but I just wanna say again, this book is really great. I think it was better than Sisters, but Smile is better than, well, it would go like this. Ta-da, one, two, three. Okay, <laughs> but uh, I really like the feel of it. I like um, kind of how she makes the surroundings, how she creates the feeling with um, just pictures and the emotion that's in it. It all totally comes to life. I love it and I hope that you guys will get this book so that you will love it too. Now, three books that, in truth, I just ordered last night and I stayed up all night reading them on the Kindle. Both of them were recommended by my awesome fans. Thank you, you guys. Um, so yeah, I kinda stayed up really late last night reading them. <laughs> but. It was totally worth it. So I have had this one since like six months ago. This one's called Awkward. I didn't stay up all night reading that one. Awkward is about a girl called Peppy. It's her first day of school and she's new at this school, which is terrible. And she's trying to make a good first impression on everyone and kind of trying to get not noticed, right? And then the worst possible thing happens when you're entering a new school. She trips and falls, and everything falls out of her hands, her backpack. Everyone is laughing at her. Um, this sweet boy named James comes over and helps her pick up her books. And then, guess what everyone starts saying? Nerder girl! Nerder has a girlfriend! Oh, no. That is not the best way to start at a new school. Definitely not the best way to start at a new school. 
with everyone laughing at you and calling you Nerder Girlfriend? I think not. She feels the same exact way. She feels, ah, I've got to get this boy away from me. And she does a thing that she regrets forever. She pushes him and runs out of that hall. For like months, she's like, I'm so sorry. She still feels so bad about what she did. And she sees him in the halls and hides behind a trash can. This is a book you gotta read. I thought it was hilarious, and I know you will too. So the next book that was um, in the series and also recommended by a Studio B fan is called Brave. It's about one, it's like a spin-off story of one of the characters in Awkward. This one's called Brave. It's about a boy who is super afraid about sunspots. He wants to grow up and be a NASA, save the world, and he gets picked on all the time. He has trouble with his friends because they aren't treating him right. It was a great story, definitely super funny, and I loved it. I know you will too. Now, dun, 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 dun. the last book that I read, at the end I got pretty tired and fell asleep, is called Real Friends. It's by Shannon Hale, who is amazing at writing books. She has written Princess Academy, Goose Girl, The Goose Girl was really good. Even Rapunzel's Revenge, which was a really funny book. I have a review on that one. She is an amazing author and she also wrote this and it is in graphic novel form. This is a memoir just like Smile is, a true story that actually happened to her. It's about her and how she started with one best friend. And then, the, and then things like popularity and groups and clubs started happening. And then by second grade, she's like, wait, weren't you my best friend? And it just shows who real friends are and the drama that happens when you go to school and just you like lose your friends, gain friends, just trying to learn how to be a friend, how to act, how to try and get popular, things like that. How to be alone, how to deal with all the terrible things that happen at the thing called the dreaded elementary and middle school. And one reason I love this book is because everyone relates to this. Everyone has bad friends. Well, not like bad friends, I guess, for everyone? Yeah, probably. Everyone at some time in their life has a friend who's not a real friend. And everyone soon gets into groups and clubs and you get left out, you get put in, you try to stay in, you try and be popular, you try and be alone. Well, as one of the characters in the book says, Friends, you can't live with them, you can't live without them. It, everyone relates to this because everyone has friend problems in their lives. Don't say you don't, because I know you do. Look me in the eye and say that you don't, because you do. I think it was just an amazing book. Well done, Shannon Hale. Another great book written. So if you could go to the bookstore or library and only be able to get all these books, you would be happy. These are the best books. All right, you guys, if you love graphic novels, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you don't like graphic novels, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to comment below if you have read any of these books or if you have read a graphic novel that I haven't read and you think I should. Make sure to tell me because I will check it out. I love reading your guys' comments and I will reply to every one of them. You can scroll down. There is not a comment I've missed. Make sure to comment below if I have. Subscribe to Studio B if you want more book reviews like this and subscribe if you are breathing subscribe to studio b if you like living subscribe to studio b if you like to be able to read subscribe to studio b if you like the color yellow okay you guys i love i love graphic novels thank you so much for watching i hope you have some good recommendations for my books and just so you know
comment below if you blink within the next two minutes. See us next time in Studio B.